See, there it is. I can see that you want to do it. The fresh air, wind in your hair, feeling of living on the edge. I just happen to have an extra helmet and an extra leather jacket. What do you say, beautiful? If you're a fan of daytime soaps, you probably recognize this face, and he just happens to hail from Alberta. What took Jason Thompson from St. Albert to the casts of General Hospital and The Young and the Restless? And what keeps drawing him back to his home province? And joining us now from Los Angeles is Jason Thompson. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Alberta Primetime. Oh, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate being here. Okay, growing up in St. Albert, you had a fairly typical childhood? Uh, well, I mean, maybe typical for St. Albert standards. Um, you know, I'm the middle of three boys and uh, raised with a bunch of family around and, um, you know, did a lot of camping and fishing in the summers. And in the winters, I was on the outdoor rink. So I would say it's kind of typical. Was acting originally on your radar? Because I understand you started out as a model, didn't you? Yeah, so uh, when I was about um, 16 or so, I was bussing tables at Earl's uh, Tin Palace down on Jasper Avenue, and um, a gentleman named uh, Kelly Strait was there eating, and he kind of uh, flagged me down and asked me if I was interested in, in doing any sort of modeling, and which was you know, pretty far off my register at that point. I hadn't really thought about anything like that. Um, but the opportunity was there, and I kind of went for it for a couple of years and ended up uh, leaving... Edmonton when I was just about 18 years old and um, at that point when I was in high school I started to kind of get attracted to the drama side of things and the acting part so I was in drama class in high school and and I knew quietly that was something that I wanted to kind of lead myself into and um, the modeling was a great opportunity to kind of get out and um, explore the world a little bit and ended up in California a couple years later with a visa in order to stay and that's when I got into class and just kind of hunkered down so that was a little bit of the process. And, and you went to Hollywood at a very young age, just 21. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I got to L.A. before I was actually 21. I was here when I was about 20, I think. It was just about before 21. So, um, yeah, it was, I mean, I left Edmonton when I was 18 years old and moved to Italy. So it was, I was young. I was, I was on the younger side of things. But, um, yeah, and I just, you know, I have to give props to my, my mom and dad for having the courage to let me go, realistically. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great opportunity for me. And, I'm, you know, looking back at... Um, I don't know if I'd let my kid go that early, but at the same time, it was wonderful for me. You found success in the world of soaps, uh, playing Dr. Patrick Drake on General Hospital, that for a decade, and of late yep. stepping into the role of Billy Abbott on The Young and the Restless. You've stuck with that world. Has, has it grown into an acquired taste? I, I mean... Listen, I, I'm, I'm an actor and I get to work every day. That is um, an amazing feeling. And I love the genre that I'm in. It's um, forever kind of changing day to day. I always get to do something new. I get to develop a character throughout a long process. I, I get excited about what's going to happen to these guys. Playing uh, Patrick Drake for 10 years was, you know, he never really left me. I'd be doing whatever and I'd be thinking about what ne what's next for this guy's life. And stepping away from that after 10 years, I, I really was looking forward to doing something new and when the opportunity come up to that came up to go to Young and the Restless and play such a great character Billy Abbott I, I jumped at it and um, I haven't looked back I've had such an amazing time over there the people are amazing and this character has been a lot of fun to play and so the daytime thing it's um like I said you kind of you're on your feet you, you have one take majority of the time you have 40 50 pages a day and you just get in there and you hunker down and you do it and it's it's a lot of fun it's exciting how are you taking to the real life role of parent and congratulations on the arrival of your son Bowie by the way thank you very much yeah he's uh, hanging out over there with my lovely wife just kind of we just got back from a walk so he's uh, he's amazing uh, it's been otherworldly um, you know, anybody that has kids will, will say the same thing. It's a challenge in those small moments, but uh, they're so damn cute that you, you forget real quickly. All right. Uh, you make your home now in, in Hollywood, but I have to think there is still some Alberta boy in you based on the, uh, the big Canada goose tattooed on your forearm. Yeah, it's actually covered up with makeup right now that I haven't taken off. But yes, um, I do have a Canadian goose on my on my arm. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I feel like that's always going to be home base for me. Uh, my family's still there, my mom and dad, my brothers, um, their families, my grandmother, my aunts and uncles and everything else. And I have a couple businesses there with my, my best friends there too, with Blair and Sal and Red Star and The Bower and Lockstock on Jasper Avenue there. So it always gives me um, pleasure to come home and, and kind of 
resubmit myself into the community. I think Edmonton is a fantastic place to grow up and to live. And I think that um, the more I travel around and talk to people, they're just, they always have amazing things to say about the people of Edmonton. And I, uh, you know, I pride myself on being from there and I look forward to going back every time I do. What keeps you locked into the uh, Edmonton business community? I mean, I think it's just that. I think it was always something that um, Blair and Sal and I, our partners, wanted to do. We, we looked into Edmonton. We were downtown 17 years ago, so there wasn't much down there when we moved down there, but we believed in the core, and, um, the, and um, you know, now we're starting to see quite a bit of change down there. We've been down there for a long time, and so I just really kind of, uh, you know, of course, being in the bar business, in the restaurant business, everything, I, I, I love being in that business I love the design aspect I love giving a place for people to go and have a good time and um, and uh, I'm lucky to have two amazing partners that, that do the job very very well and I just you know I love of Edmonton. I love the people of Edmonton. I just love being a part of the community even though I still live here. Okay apart from being a proud papa what does the future hold for Jason Thompson? Uh, I don't know what do you think babe another four or five kids? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying it right now. Things, things are good. I'm not going to lie. It's been nice. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying being a dad. I love going to work every day and, um, you know, hopefully I can continue to develop my acting and my, you know, entertainment career at the, at the same time, uh, continuing to build my, my stuff that I got going on back at home and just kind of hang out with the family. I, I can't ask for much more than that. Well, great pleasure to speak with you. And of course we wish you the best. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's actor and former St. Albert resident Jason Thompson.